Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Muhammad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace the National Guard Commander, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, and a number of National Guard senior officers, where they congratulated His Majesty on the 25th anniversary of the establishment of the National Guard. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the National Guard Commander for his role in the high efficiency development and readiness of the National Guard, hailing the efforts of all its affiliates. His Majesty affirmed that the National Guard became a protective front to defend the homeland sovereignty security, stability, and its civilizational and developmental gains as a support to the BDF and the public security forces. His Majesty asked the National Guard commander to convey his greetings and congratulations to all the National Guard officers, wishing them further success. The National Guard commander expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his directives and support to the National Guard and its affiliates, wishing His Majesty abundant health and happiness. The National Guard Commander, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa patronized the military marathon and pistol and rifle shooting contest conclusion ceremony that is coinciding with the 25th anniversary of the National Guard's establishment in the presence of the National Guard Director of Staff, Major General Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Saud Al Khalifa and Senior National Guard Officers at Sakhir Camp Shooting Range Complex. Upon the arrival of the National Guard Commander, his anthem was played. Then the final rounds of the shooting contest began between the Special Operations Unit the Guards Battalion and the Military Police Unit. The championship resulted in the victory of the Special Operations Unit. At the end of the ceremony, the National Guard skydiving performed a show for His Highness and the attendees. Upon the royal order of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the National Guard Commander awarded the Military Service Medal First Class to Special Operations Units, Head Lieutenant Colonel His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the Military Service Medal Second Class to a number of officers for their dedication to their military duty. He distributed three cups for winners of three weapon shooting and individual shooting contests and military marathon contest. His Highness expressed pride in the honorable achievements of the National Guard members in sports events and stressed that it is a translation of the royal patronage of His Majesty the King. The personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued a ministerial decision regarding electronic and electrical waste management within the framework of the efforts made by the Supreme Council for the Environment to develop the legislative system to protect the environment and keep pace with international standards in facing environmental challenges in light of the growing production of electronic waste as a result of the use of electronic and electrical devices. His Highness stated that this decision will regulate its management safely through using international methods to ensure the safety of the environment. His Highness indicated that this decision will be applicable to the producer, carrier and sectors that are specialized in the practice of recycling and treatment of this type of waste. 
His Highness affirmed the Council's keenness to support sectors concerned with recycling, which led, will lead to attracting investment in the sector. He affirmed Bahrain is a destination for many investors, and there are many models of waste management that prove their efficiency locally in the field of recycling. The Representative Council Speaker for the Zainal met with the European Parliament Foreign Affairs Committee Chairman David McAllister. They discussed the means of promoting and developing relations between the Council of Representatives and the European Parliament in various fields. The Speaker affirmed the Council's keenness on cooperation and participation in regional and international parliamentary forums and exchanging parliamentary expertise and experiences. Zainal noted the Council's endeavor to activate parliamentary diplomacy and highlight Bahrain's democratic image under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al she noted that Bahrain has promoted the values of tolerance and coexistence and has harnessed its efforts to adopt civilized humanitarian initiatives which have been appreciated by the international community, civil society associations and human rights institutions. Zainal highlighted Bahrain's possession of a solid legislative structure and legal base that supports a comprehensive reform approach which makes good citizenship the basis for the development and modernization of the state of institutions and law. The chairman expressed pleasure with the importance of building close parliamentary relations with Bahrain and praise a democratic, parliamentary, reformist and human rights experience in the kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, received the European Parliament Foreign Affairs Committee Chairman David McAllister. As Saleh affirmed that Bahrain has taken firm steps in the field of human rights and respect of freedoms, which is an outcome of the approach and vision of His Majesty the King and his reform project, which included the highest values of pr principles of human rights as one of the pillars of development and progress. As Saleh hailed the strategies and plans presented by the government, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, that contributed to the promotion of de democracy and human rights, making Bahrain a model in achieving high levels of system and mechanism implementation, which aims to guarantee rights in all forms. David McAllister expressed pride in visiting Bahrain, stressing the interest of the European Union and his country's leadership in establishing joint relations and announcing a new cooperation strategy with GCC countries based on mutual cooperation. The President of the Sustainable Energy Authority, Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza, affirmed that the Industrial Sector's 2022-2026 strategy will enhance the sector's contribution in the GDP, increase exports, and provide job opportunities. He added that the renewable energy sector is considered a vital partner in supporting the strategy. He noted that the clean industries represented by renewable energy and green and blue hydrogen contribute mainly to achieving the goals set in the strategy and will provide opportunities for growth and prosperity and support the Kingdom of Bahrain's commitment to reach carbon neutrality by 2060. Dr. Mirza highlighted that Bahrain has been able to anticipate the achievement of the National Renewable Energy Goal by four years in addition to attracting investments in renewable energy and energy efficiency projects, which reflects the importance of these sectors, especially with regards to economic recovery plan. Following the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the Minister of Forks, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Assam Khalaf, paid a visit to a lousy project, accompanied by the Northern Governor Ali Al Asfur, to put solutions to the impacts of the rainwater to ensure infrastructure quality services. The Minister affirmed that the Ministry conducted an urgent study for the reasons of the accumulated rainwater and put forward strategic and sustainable solutions for this issue. The Minister affirmed the Ministry's keenness to develop the infrastructure following high quality inter national standards and affirmed his keenness to benefit citizens and residents of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Assam Khalaf, held inspection visits to a number of development projects in the Northern Governorate. The Minister inspected the Developing Roads Project in Block 1203 in Sugwagif that will include providing more parking spaces, increase the number of entrances and exits. He pointed out that the project will commence during the first quarter of this year and will aim to regulating traffic inside the Sug in order to reduce traffic jams and enhance traffic safety.
The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid Zayani, met with the European Parliament Foreign Affairs Committee Chairman David McAllister. The meeting reviewed a number of issues related to economic affairs, which focused on joint economic relations and ways to enhance them, in addition to activating agreements between the private sector leaders on both sides and benefiting more from their experiences. Zayani affirmed Bahrain's keenness to strengthen its relations in various international institutions and events, which aim at strengthening global partnerships. He highlighted the role of the private sector in consolidating relations and increasing commercial exchanges, referring to the offers Bahrain government gives to investors from all over the world, which contributed to making it a destination and a first choice for many projects. The chairman expressed his admiration for Bahrain's remarkable progress in all fields, especially the economic and investment sectors, and the government's role in attracting global investments and pioneering projects. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Zayani, addressed as a keynote speaker a luncheon hosted by the American Chamber of Commerce in Bahrain. Amcham Bahrain President Qais Hatim and other officials and stakeholders attended the event. Zayani highlighted key issues focusing on free trade agreements, frameworks in Bahrain. He noted this recent, his recent visit to the United States to discuss strong bilateral relations and ways of further bolstering economic and trade cooperation between the two friendly countries. He underlined Bahrain's measures to combat the pandemic and the government's support to the economic sector as part of efforts to move to, the, to recovery phase. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and Chairman of the Bahrain Tourism Exhibitions Authority, Zaid Zayani, inspected the progress of work on the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center project in Al-Sakhir. Zayani was updated on the massive project and stressed the strategic importance of the project, which stems from the 2030 Bahrain Economic Vision. He said that the milestone will be a key pillar of Bahrain's new strategy 2022-2026, to which focuses on mega-national projects, including the new state-of-the-art center in Al-Sakhir.